So here's my current setup. It's basically just thrown together this random and TV entertainment and a desk that I got from like some local furniture store. It's all just thrown together. It's re it's a really tiny desk. It, I just didn't expect myself to get into gaming, so this desk wasn't really like a choice. I just got it because I needed it. It's this is some really old entertainment stand that I had. It's old. It's broken. It's just ugly. I don't know. The wiring is a mess. So I'm gonna fix that with this new setup, and it's just not that nice I guess I'm hoping this new desk is gonna fix it make it look really, really nice it'll give me a lot of space to work with and let's get going So here's the desk, all assembled. Um, it's 63 inches long, so it's pretty long. It fits along my wall perfectly. It has a wood top and a steel bottom. This is all steel. It's welded onto the uh, and screwed onto the wood. There's the logo. So you know this is the front. Let me just peel that off. There's their logo. I don't know if you can see it. Oh. I'll just set it up and show you what it looks like with my stuff on it. So here's my new desk with all, all my belongings on it. So it looks really nice. It's really nice and big. My 32 inch TV and I think my 21 inch monitor fits on it perfectly. There's a decent amount of space here so I could do, like, do whatever I need to like do homework, play games. So I can like sit back and relax. And then my TV with my Xbox on it fits really nicely. They both have like enough space that I can use them comfortably. It's nice. It looks really good. This desk is black, so it, doesn't, it won't, probably won't get dirty. But one thing I did find was, like, over here when I keep my hands here, it gets really dirty. Maybe it's the oil from my mm -hmm. skin. I guess I could clean that up with, like, a damp cloth or something. That's what I did it before, and it cleaned it up pretty good. So I guess I, I just have to do that once in a while. Um, I have everything set up. There's a USB port there that I brought through the back. All the wires run through the back. My PC is on the right side. The wiring, I couldn't really organize it that well. It's still a bit of a mess. I put it through, through this plastic thing I got from Home Depot for wires. I might get something else so that I can put it on the bottom of it. You can stick the thing here and then you run the wires through there. So this isn't really that big of a mess. Maybe that'll help, but this is all I did for now just because I don't really care. I don't, I don't really have the, like, any material to like hide them really good. It doesn't really bother me too much, but I guess some people really care about cable management. I don't really mind. It doesn't really bother me that much. But everything is fitting well. Maybe I'll get some other accessories like an LED strip or something. Um, I'll probably get something for this just for my headset to sit on just because it's not really good on the TV because I use that TV sometimes so it's kind of annoying. I also have this charger here, this control charger. Just plug it in and then leave everything here. Well, Xbox I barely use but I'll just put it here. Everything I have is on the desk. Everything I need is like there I have enough space for everything I really enjoy this desk it fits really nice it's perfect for my room it fits like that wall perfectly because I don't really want it to be going all the way across but it fits fine and then there's enough space for my PC there all the ports are still there it just has good clearance it won't really overheat because the cooling thing is right there on the side and it's just fine there so if overall if you like I, I really like this desk I hope you maybe if you guys need a desk you'll like this too it's affordable, it's only $158. I bought another one off of Ikea, but I never got that desk, so I got this instead just because I didn't really like Ikea's customer service, it was really bad. 
and this is good quality it has this is solid wood and then this whole bottom portion here and the legs they're all steel and they're like powder coated or i don't know if they're just you know like painted but it's really good quality it's dirty it can hold like a lot of weight it's holding a tv and like a pc on it so i guess it could hold a lot of weight it's good quality it doesn't really like shake too much it's it's pretty sturdy you just have to tighten the legs maybe some people complain that the legs are loose so like just tighten them in a different way just tighten them as much as possible they don't really squeak it even has some adjustable legs there so on the bottom if you see if you like let's say it's upside down right you could twist it and you can like adjust it, like a few centimeters i guess if you like your room's on a little slant so that helps a lot so it doesn't really like look awkward or feel awkward i really like this desk they have their logo right here it's kind of nice it has some sharp edges, so I guess you could maybe like sand them down, file them down. It didn't, it didn't really bother me too much. This point right here is a little sharp. I guess you could cut yourself if you like really jab your skin in there. But I really like the desk. It's cheap. It's good. They have good customer service. I've talked to them a little bit. I really like that. It has good reviews on Amazon. I'll leave the link to, for it in the description below. So if you need if you need a desk like this, you could check it out. Maybe purchase it if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll continue doing some more like gaming setup videos. Maybe upgrade some like stuff, like all on a budget. So if you guys really like anything, you could ask me and I'll just like make reviews of them. Thanks for watching.